So we're going to get started, folks. Uh, good day. Uh, I'm glad that uh, we had so many people joining us, and uh, we expect you more to get on uh, um, as as we get started here. Uh, thanks for coming to today's Folio Forum, which is sponsored by Olay, the Open Library Environment uh, Partners. Uh, and we are working with EBSCO and Index Data to host these uh, forums for uh, Folio and for GoKB. My name is Mike Winkler. I'm the Managing Director at Olay, and I'm the host for today's event. Uh, if you have any uh, trouble, just let us know, uh, and we'll try to help as we can. Our topic today is a status update on GoKB, the Global Open Knowledge Base. Uh, today's session, like all Folio forums, is being recorded and will be posted to the Open Library Environment website. As an open forum, participating Participants can see each other and all questions submitted, and we have muted everyone except for the forum participants uh, to ensure good sound quality. We value your participation and encourage you to engage in the topic. Use the question and answer box within uh, Zoom to enter questions and comments as they come to you. The speakers will address the questions at the end of the presentation. If you like, tweet. Uh, if you like to tweet, please use the hashtag folio forum uh, so that we can follow that. We encourage you to continue the conversation on this topic uh, on the GoKB Slack channels uh, or on their wiki. Um, and today, let me uh, introduce our speaker. Uh, today is Johan Rolsch. I'm sorry, uh, Johan, how do you no pronounce problem. your last name? Uh, Rolchowski? Uh, yes. <laughs> close, uh, I hope. Uh, uh, Johan uh, comes to us uh, from uh, the Berlin State Library um, and is uh, working as the product manager uh, for the Go, Go KB effort and is uh, going to give us an update today. Uh, additionally, we have Moritz, uh, Moritz Horn and Daniel Repon who may provide some backup for uh, Johan uh, during the Q&A. So uh, with that, I'm going to turn it over to you, Johan. Yeah, thanks for the introduction. Um, today, I will talk about the uh, global open knowledge base. Just will give a short status update. I'm sorry. Um, um, the agenda is I will talk about short about the uh, GoKB project. I will um, show you or introduce the new project partner and um, we'll talk about the editorial stuff uh, we will um, offer and then I will give a status update on the current development of the GoKB. Just some more uh, information about me working at the Berlin State Library, uh, mainly for the Zeitschriften Datenbank, um, the ZDB. Um, I will talk about that a little bit later. At the moment, I'm the chair of the GoKB Steering Committee, and I'm also a member of the Folio Special Interest Subgroup um, Electronic Resource Management. Um, I think most of you already know the global open knowledge base. Um, the GoKB is a central open platform where stakeholders can create and share metadata. It's a knowledge base uh, for titles, packages, holdings, platforms, and organization. It's community managed and the data is freely available to reuse. And um, the data can be accessed via a web application or via APIs. Um, one of the core features um, of the GoKB is the openness. Um, the data is freely available via open APIs. Um, we like to build a community around the GoKB, which is also open for new participants. Um, all the data um, in the GoKB is um, published under a CC0 license, so it can be uh, reused um, without uh, legal barriers in third-party systems. And all the software developed within the project um, is published as open source software. In the moment, um, uh, it's a modified Apache license called Educational Community License, ECL. 
um, short uh, information about the history of the project. Um, the project um, GoKB started in 2012 um, with the funding of the Mellon Foundation. Um, a proof uh, of concept was developed within uh, 2013, um, some kind of a core system. Um, in 2014, um, there was a public preview um, available and the phase two of the Mellon funding um, started. In 2015 to 2016, the main focus was on the community development and recruiting new partners and also on developing um, enhanced functionalities um, for the system. In 2017, there was a major change. Um, the project um, was, uh, there was a new project organization under the umbrella of the Open Library Foundation and um, a new steering committee um, was established um, with the participation uh, of the North Rhine-Westphalian Library Service Center, the HBZ, the North Carolina State University, the Open Library Fund Environment, um, the University of California, um, the head office of the Common Library Network, network um, the VCG, and the Zeitschriften Datenbank. Um, as you can see, there are some new partners, um, and I like I like to introduce them. Um, you all will know um, the Open Library Foundation as a nonprofit organization, and um, it's designed to ensure the availability and accessibility and sustainability of open source software and open access projects. Um, I think the open culture of the OLF fits really well to the openness um, of the GoKB project. And one aim is to create uh, benefit from better alignment of projects in our domain. Uh, one of this project is Folio that you all will know. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, sorry. And um, it's a community-based uh, collaboration to develop an open source library service platform. And such a modern platform will need, an will need some electronic um, resource management functions. And for these functions, we will need a central um, knowledge base. So there is a strong connection between these two projects. And this is also reflected in the fact that several members of the GoKB steering committee are also involved um, in the special interest subgroup electronic resource management of the Folio project. Um, one of the new partners from Germany is the North Rhine-Westphalian Library Service Center. It's a regional network for about 220 the uh, libraries. Um, the HPZ uh, provides a union catalog um, for shared or collaborative cataloging and it also provides services around digitization, digi digital peer publishing, uh, document um, delivery, uh, interlibrary loan, um, library statistics and also offers um, a lot of linked open data. Um, yeah, the HBZ also have, has experience in software development and uh, one of these projects uh, is one of the project partner within the laser project I will talk about a little bit later. The second um, partner from Germany is the head office of the Common uh, Library Network, the VZG. Um, it's a regional network for seven German federal states with about uh, 400 participating libraries. It also offers a, a union catalog for shared and collaborative cataloging and offers service also around digitization, document delivery, hosting, IAL, and um, they are also really strong um, in developing open source software. Um, they are also a partner, a project partner of the LASER project. Um, the Zeitschriftendatenbank, the CDB, um, is a German union catalog for serials. Um, 
uh, it's also used uh, for shared and collaborative cataloging of databases, journals, newspapers, yearbooks uh, in uh, the print and online form. Um, we maintain about 1. million bibliographic records in our system with um, attached about 50 million holding records from about uh, the 3,700 libraries, uh, mainly from Germany and Austria. Um, all the data maintained within this uh, ZDB um, is distributed to the regional uh, library networks and from there to the local library systems. Um, this workflow is established um, on a strong, unique identifier called the ZDB ID. So in Germany, when, you, when we talk about uh, journals, um, all these thing, thing, uh, the journals are identified identified um, uh, with the ZDB. Um, for several years, we also have listings of packages, um, mainly for national licenses and um, consortia packages. And all the data from the ZDB um, is available as open data under a CC0 license. Um, the uh, the regional networks um, uh, I mentioned already cooperate um, within the LASER project. Um, this is short for License Administration Systems System for E-Resources. It's a project funded by the German Research Foundation and um, the project partner developed an electronic resource management system, which uses um, the GoKB as knowledge base. So you can see the German partners have a strong interest um, in the uh, further development of the GoKB because it's a central um, system uh, within um, this project. And uh, one benefit uh, for both projects is already the developing of a prototype for a graphical user interface um, to import KBART files in the GoKB. Um, this is, uh, was developed within the LASER project. Okay, um, we plan, uh, the SETIB plans um, to provide staff to organize um, the editorial tasks um, for the GoKB, um, like data imports, um, uh, like working on documentation, uh, on quality assurance, um, working on reviews, and also organize um, the user management. Um, this doesn't mean that the ZDB stuff will do all data imports. Um, this will be a community efforts, um, but we will help uh, participating libraries um, uh, for, uh, with the imports. Um, at the moment, uh, what we've already done is that we moved um, the hosting of the live GoKB system um, to end the website of the GoKB um, to the uh, VZG. Uh, in the future, there will be a co-hosting um, with the HP uh, that. And um, the wiki uh, for the GoKB um, is moved um, to the um, wiki system of the Open Library Foundation. Um, at the moment, um, we are working or we are testing um, the uh, automated imports of KBART packages in the GoKB. And one goal um, is to reuse um, the existing and maintain bibliographic metadata um, from the SETIB. Um, when we import the, uh, the uh, KBART files, um, we will enrich them um, uh, with the SETIB ID, and we also try to get the title histories uh, from the SETIB. Um, after we finish the test, we like to work on updates um, for the existing data and also want to import new packages um, in the system. Okay. Um, then uh, this is work mainly done um, by the um, VZG um, is the development um, uh, of a of a, 
of a concept for the redesign of the GoKB user interface. Um, this work is funded by the Federal Ministry of Education and Research. Um, as mentioned, it's organized by the um, VZG. Um, in the last weeks or months, there were several workshops um, with focus groups um, and a final report um, for the concept uh, will be available uh, within June um, this year. And we hope that we can work on the implementation of the new interface um, within the second half year uh, of 2018. Okay. Um. You know, uh, the second um, thing we are working um, is uh, working on is a web in user interface um, for the import of uh, KBAT data and the enrichment of the imported data via um, in, uh, metadata um, uh, gathered from the SETIB. Um, this work is mainly done um, by the HBZ, and um, at the moment uh, we are testing the prototype. Um, but uh, at the moment also we just uh, are testing e-journal packages and not e-books. Okay. Um, yeah, in general, um, we are moving um, the project um, to the OLF GitHub space and um, we need to um, update uh, the underlying framework of the GoKB and the um, software dependencies. I think this work will also be done uh, within this year or the beginning of next year. And um, parallel, we like to work uh, on a review of the existing uh, documentation and we also need uh, to, provide, to provide some new uh, documentation for the new interface. Okay, um, and then um, we have to, um, uh, another work to be done is to establish a broader international community. Uh, we will make more public advertising of the project um, when we have um, finished the work already mentioned. Um, we are actively working on connecting um, the GoKB with other projects and community communities um, like Folio and Laser. Um, several of the members of the steering committee are working in more than one of these projects and um, they are all advocating the GoKB as a central knowledge base system. And what we also like to do is to promote um, the reuse of GoKB data um, in third party systems like Alma, Coral. Um, there's a German um, platform called EZB, um, the Elektronische Zeitschriften Datenbank. And we also like to see um, the reuse of the GoKB data um, for link resolvers um, or union catalogs. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, I hope I was able to give you a brief overview of the new project partners, um, the current state just of work and the ongoing work. Um, so um, I'd like to thank you all and uh, like to ask for questions. Thanks, Johan. Uh, so we do have one question already uh, that has been asked in the chat box. Uh, folks, if you could use the Q&A box, um, uh, that helps us track the questions a bit better. But let me read this one. Um, the question is, will you be incorporating the work of the NISO KBART Automation Working Group? The plan is to develop an API to transmit KBART files. Uh, there are no plans um, at the moment, um, but we are watching um, the work um, of the uh, KBART um, working group and um, we use um, their publications also um, to, to promote the use um, of KBART files. And um, we also uh, like um, uh, our partners or the libraries and consortia um, uh, to uh, to point um, the vendors um, to the publications of the KBARC uh, working group so uh, we can get the data, uh, get, 
can get package data um, uh, with KBART files. Uh, we have another question. Uh, uh, what is the timeline for going into live production with GoKB? Um, the timeline at the moment um, is um, that we start in the beginning of next year to go in production. Uh, so on your timeline right now, you're testing out how to harvest uh, the provider files, the KBART files, uh, and enhance it with data from uh, ZDB. Um, um, yeah, we are working on the, the programming in the second half of the year. Is that is that sort of the the layout of the plan? Yeah, um, but um, we are just testing um, uh, data which is already available. So if there are new packages, um, uh, we need um, the libraries to provide this data so we can um, import it within the GoKB. At the moment, there will be no direct harvesting um, from the GoKB system. Are there other questions? Yes, we have another one. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, the question is, what's the difference between the new user interface and the KBOT um, import interface? Um, the new um, user interface um, will be um, the web application for the GoKB. And the uh, KBOT uh, import interface um, will just be used to import KBOT files in the system. So um, this will be uh, uh, a, a, a part of the general user interface of the GoKB. Great, other question? Yeah, um, there's another question. Can publisher content providers contribute files um, to the GoKB? That would be really great. And um, we had talks um, with EBSCO um, to get um, their, um, uh, to get data from them. And um, I think we can um, work on a stronger automation, automation of imports when we get um, the files directly from the providers. And I think we will all uh, also work on more on harvesting data from providers if um, the providers are offering um, uh, their data more in the KBART uh, uh, format. Yeah, it would be great to give get the files directly from producers or yes. providers. Yeah, um, and uh, there has been interest in that previously. Yeah. And uh, there's another question, if the KBART import option will be integrated within the user interface. Yes, um, we will um, work on that. And the idea is um, that um, users um, of the GoKB will just have to use one interface and don't have to use OpenRefine or some other tools to ingest the data um, in the GoKB. We're just taking a break to let people type. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or maybe we're at the end of questions. Oops. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so with that, I, I think we're, we're going to say that uh, we're probably done. Um, if, if you have questions, uh, uh, Johan is available. Uh, uh, the GoKB project uh, has a website at gokb.org. You should check out um, for additional information and progress uh, on, on our activities. Uh, so this concludes today's forum. Um, 
Uh, um, just one uh, addition. If someone um, of you have some um, uh, KBART list uh, for some special uh, packages, uh, we are really interested um, to get them. So um, if you can provide KBART files, uh, just send me an email um, so we can uh, work with them uh, within our testing. Great. Uh, we do have another question, uh, uh, Johan, that just came in. Um, how, do, how does GoKB work with the Folio community? Um, as I already mentioned, I think uh, three or four um, members of the steering committee are also participating in the Folio project or in the uh, Folio um, special interest subgroup electronic resource management. Um, uh, so we will um, uh, we'll try to make sure that Folio will um, work together with the GoKB as one knowledge base. And, and I can further say that uh, GoKB will be one of many knowledge bases that can be used yes. in Folio, but it is an early target because we have people who want to use it uh, uh, with production implementations of Folio. Yeah, and what I really would enjoy um, to keep um, Folio and also the GoKB um, or to promote um, these open systems. Absolutely. Um, I don't want to cut off questions. Uh, they've been great. Um, but if there aren't any more. Uh, I, I think we can call it a day uh, and give you some time back. Uh, we have recorded this uh, session uh, and the recording will be available later uh, today on the Open Library Environment website at uh, openlibraryenvironment.org. Uh, if you have feedback on this forum or have ideas for future forums, please contact the uh, facilitators at facilitators at olay-list.openlibraryfoundation.org. And we'll be having another forum uh, in about a month uh, in June. Uh, so we hope that you can join us then as well. I want to thank uh, Johan for uh, giving us a status update on GoKB. We're very excited about uh, the new activity that's happening around GoKB and, and the new steering committee. Uh, thanks very much, everyone, and have a good day. Yeah, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.